Okay, here is the uh, Global Renoscope system working with my input to take a picture of M51. You see my name. We got an autofocus busy. Autofocus is busy. The telescope is working its uh, software to acquire the image. As I get to be using this information more and more, we are going to learn more about the system so that I can explain to you exactly what's happening, how we're able to access these telescopes, how we're able to do real-time science with these telescopes. Forget setting up telescope that we have. If you really want to do research with telescopes, you need to get together with one of these networks of telescopes and I am in the process of test driving one for you now. Like I said, when the, when the image comes out, I'm going to post them on Facebook. When I get a series of images, I'll make a movie and post it on YouTube. But if you want to see the images <coughs> as soon as I have them, you need to uh, <coughs> connect with me on Facebook. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash fuzzy was here. It's guiding right now. Guiding, guiding, guiding. Shutter closed. We have a th exposure 300 seconds imaging right now. So 300 seconds is going to be five minutes. We are live. We're getting this image right now. It's exposing. We have taken control. Our name is on the list. This is Global Renoscope. And this is really exciting. Right now this is the Grass 16. It's located in Nerpio, Spain. Astrocam Wide Fields Telescope. So we're gonna we should get a, a a very good image of M51, the Whirlpool galaxies. It is going. It's exposing right now, guiding and exposing, guiding and exposing. Once the image has been taken, I'm going to um, work with that system because it goes up into uh, their own server, and I'm gonna have to extract the file so that I can uh, have it in my hands to work with. Um, this is really exciting for me, a, a big step forward. Thanks to Pete for giving me the opportunity to use the telescopes and to get the benefit of some extra time for um, answering his call to come over and try the system. Um, as of right now, I will tell you that it has been error-free, but this request was simple. This is not the same request as to go out and get the comet. Mm. Going out and getting comets requires the uh, ephemeris to be uh, updated and the one-line uh, ephemeris code to be inserted into a plan. And it takes a little bit more, maybe, than I even know. And uh, I have, there are people here on the Global Renoscope uh, Network who are going to help me because they are really uh, excited to get more people to know about what's going on with this network and if so many people are interested in the comments that are coming by and the possibility of dwarf stars and whatever your possible reality uh, beliefs entail as far as space objects uh, this is the way to uh, forget spending over sixty thousand dollars on telescopes and get right into the meat. If I had, if I wanted to spend sixty thousand dollars on this uh, global Renoscope network, I could, uh, I could do a lot of things with the information. Um, it is going to be a, a tool that I use now regularly. Uh, the exposure for three hundred seconds is a five-minute exposure, uh, so it'll still be processing when I end this video at five minutes or three hundred seconds. We got about halfway to go. Halfway, you see the yellow bar there. It's growing across. It is guiding. You see all the guider codes. So this is really exciting. I'm very, very happy so far. Um, we'll let you know what happens. We'll let you know by the pictures that we reveal on Facebook. Go to Facebook. Look on my uh, profile page. In the description is the link. Or it's facebook.com forward slash fuzzy was there. There's room for about 2,000 more friends and connections on my personal profile. And I do recommend you go there. Uh, if for anything but to get access to your uh, new ability to see what's in space uh, quickly, easily, and professionally. We'll see you later. Still working.